This is the best defense to use in Madden 23. Got him. See ya. It gets instant sacks. Shuts down any run play. And nothing gets open resulting in interceptions all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using your results like this. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Back on. On the Stick around after the intro. Here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll be using my Buffalo Bills offense and Kansas City Chiefs defensive ebooks as these are two of my favorite playbooks using the game right now. I'm still using the Jacksonville Jaguars as they're the team that got the most votes for which team you guys want me to use this week. I'm going to continue this trend, so let me know in the comments section what teams you want to see me use in the future as the Steelers, Browns, and Raiders have gotten the most votes so far. Before I get into the gameplay, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my ebooks, all I have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I started this game out on offense, but I'll be focusing on defense in today's video. I did already make a video about the offense that I'm using in this video, as well as a full breakdown on my second channel. So if you guys want to see more about it, I will have links in the description and at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I started this game out trying to use cover two man defense out of the quarter normal as cover two man is probably the best defense to use in the game right now, but there are several things that you just can't do from this formation. For one, this defense only has three rushing linemen, which means less pass rush and also worse run defense. As my opponent breaks off a big run the very first play, and I will probably never stop Nick Chubb in a defense so small. Another thing I noticed is that you don't have the option to put either safety into a flat coverage of any kind while in this defense, like the defense that I'm going to show you next, which is very important as it gives your defense a lot of flexibility that I don't have right now. So after Donovan Peoples-Jones gets wide open like he's Devontae Adams on the next play, I decided to switch over to my favorite defense once again, the Dime Normal Cover 2 Man, as this is really the best defense in the game in my opinion. And even though I've made several videos about this defense already, the more I use it, the more I find small adjustments like the one I'm going to show you today that make this defense even harder to beat. For the most part, this defense hasn't changed, but I have a few new adjustments that kick this defense up an entire another level. I used to say that you should pinch the defensive line for run defense, and I still do, but I also find that this hurts the pass rush, as this adjustment would give the tackles outside leverage, making it hard for the ends to get around them and get pressure. I recently found that it's best to just pinch the defensive line on every play, but to improve the pass rush as well, all you have to do is slant the defensive line to the outside, and this new adjustment will make the edge defenders get around the tackles better and win at a much higher rate, giving you the best of both worlds, with run defense inside that gives up no run lanes, and a pass rush on every single play. To crash the pass rush outside, all you have to do is push the defensive pad to the left and up. I also still like to use the deep safeties and bring them down to the box like this, because it's always best to have two second level defenders in run defense. Which safety I use can change from play to play, as I always want to choose the safety with the least responsibility, so that I have the freedom to be aggressive and react to crossing routes over the middle of the field. To do this, you just want to make sure that you choose the safety either on the short side of the field, since most people run their offense to the open side. I also like to use the safety on the side of the field with the least amount of receivers, as this will also free me up. So the next step of the setup is to hit the wire triangle button to press and shade underneath, so that the cornerbacks will prioritize the short routes like slants, drags, and zigs that typically beat man coverages. This adjustment will do a lot better to take away those routes, but it will also let them run right past a lot easier on deep routes like streaks and fades. But that is okay here because I have safeties over the top. So on the next play, all I have to do is watch this receiver on my side and make sure that he doesn't run a streak or fade at the start of the play. If he runs a crossing route like he does here, I'm really free to just watch to see for any receivers that get separation and then try to cut them off. And on the next play, you can see that no one is open as my opponent has to resort to running with the quarterback already. <laughs> on the next play, uses the short side safety once again, only this time he tries to run an inside zone. How about new? No? On the next play, nothing is open again as the pass rush forces him to try to take off. Sit your ass down! And now on third and seven with no one getting open. <laughs> He decides to go for it on 4th and 13, and on this play, I decide to go back to spraying the defensive line, which is something that I still do out of habit. But you can see that somehow the pass rush is worse as no one gets home and my edge defender gets knocked down as he takes off with the quarterback to get the first down. Now that he is inside the red zone, I go back to the original setup by pinching and slanting outside. <laughs> 
No! And the pass rush comes back. On the next play, we do it again, only this time he doubles Allen on the right side. But we still get the exact same result from the other side as Walker gets him for the sack this time to push him back to third and 20. On third down, to make the mistake of spreading once again, which you would think would help the pass rush. But you can see that every time I've done this, it has the exact opposite effect. As my opponent has plenty of time to try to hit a comeback route. Gotcha, bitch! Which we click on and sprint back for a nice user interception. I get a good return before getting forced out of bounds at about midfield before scoring on a one-play touchdown on the very next play, <laughs> causing my opponent to rage quit instantly. See ya! I start the next game on offense and score instantly again. Offense link in the description. That's just too easy! Only this time I start out on defense with the same dime normal defense from the beginning. I also make my coaching adjustments this time as my opponent quit the first game before I even had a chance to. I always use the exact same ones here as I plan on doing an update video on the best coaching adjustments for next week. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section if you guys would like to see that. I always set my zone coverage to match as I believe it helps the deep zones. I sometimes like to use my safety in curl flats and hard flats so I also set them to 25 and 5. I set my option defense to conservative, my cornerback matchups to over and my ball in the air defense to play ball for more interceptions. It's a good thing I set my option defense right away as he tries to run the option on the very first play but only gets three yards. <laughs> and since I said earlier that I only have to watch for streaks, once I see the running back turn up field into my area, gotcha, bitch. I jump all over for the interception. On offense, I almost score quickly with another one play touchdown from the same offense before blowing it by essentially throwing a pick six as my opponent gets to return inside the five. He comes out a three tight end set and at this point, I probably should have matched with a larger defense, but I have faith in this defense even in this situation as it gives me the opportunity to show you guys how I would use this defense even a goal line set. I mentioned earlier how I like to put my safeties in the hard flats sometimes, and this is the perfect situation. I also mentioned how other formations don't even give you the option to do so, but here you can see that I can put my safeties into anything from a curl flat to a hook zone or even a QB spy. If I want to put my safeties into a hard flat like this on the goal line here, all I have to do is put my safety into a curl flat first and then play underneath and they will turn into a hard flat. This defense is usually very good, but on the next play, I make a mistake of slanting the defensive line inside, which I don't normally do, and I think it costs me as my entire defense gets washed away for an easy rushing touchdown. Damn it! I score on the next play on offense once again with another explosive one-play touchdown, and then back on defense. On this play, since I know that only receivers split out wide are a deep threat, I decide to use the safety on the open side of the field this time, only to find that only two receivers go out on routes, but the pressure still forces a bad throw. Gotcha, bitch! And we were able Able to click on and sprint to get another user interception. We score again shortly after that to take a 21-0 lead and now we are pinning our ears back but still while pinching the defensive line and slanting outside. Even though he's probably going to pass and not run, this is still the best setup for instant pass rush even against a running threat like Lamar Jackson. He runs a screen on the next play that gets blown up by the pressure and on the next play after that I decide to use her the safety on the open side of the field this time where all the receivers are and this is because I know how glitchy gun bunch can be against something like this and I have to be more aggressive to stop it. So I watch for crossers to get separation once again but once I see that they're all locked up I turn my attention to the deep route entering my area and nothing is open as the pass rush gets home for another sack. No! To push him back to third and 24 from inside his own five yard line. From here I still make the same adjustments only this time Josh Allen decides to run a stunt for some reason. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up! Back on the street! This game is pretty much over, but my opponent decides to try one more time. The coverage is locked down, and the play ends in another sack. Stop it. Get some help. On the next play, he does it again, and I see the streak coming into my area, but it doesn't appear to be getting separation, so I drop to a lower route, and he tries to test the streak anyways. <laughs> We get another interception to end the game in only the second quarter. I had a few seconds to look at the stats before he rage quit to see that he only had 14 yards on five possessions as his defense was just as dominant as the offense. So that's that's the vid. Give this setup a try and let me know if it improves the pass rush and the run defense. If you guys want to see more from the offensive side of this video, I will have the video link for that popping up on screen as I just put that out. So just click the links as I'm sure to help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. If you want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.